Calcium is the 20th element on the periodic table. It is an alkali earth metal and it is right below magnesium. If you remember back to my magnesium video, I put some magnesium in water and said that there were tiny bubbles, though they didn't show up on camera. With calcium, because it's the bigger atom and it loses electrons more easily, those bubbles are going to be more intense and hopefully visible on the camera. Calcium is normally associated with white because if you think of a calcium compound, it is almost always white. A very common calcium compound is calcium carbonate, which is found in the shells of sea creatures. Uh, marble is also a form of calcium carbonate. As well as being found in the exoskeletons of invertebrates, it's also found as the endoskeleton. Uh, bones are made out of calcium compound and phosphorus compounds. So, just to demonstrate, here is a ram skull and you see it's white and this, what you're seeing is, is calcium carbonate. Almost all calcium compounds are white and if you actually saw, let's say, a solid crystal of calcium carbonate, it would actually be clear. The only reason it's white and not clear is because the tiny crystals scatter the light so what you see is white. But the reason it's clear uh, the reason calcium compounds are typically clear is just because the electrons can't jump to higher energy levels and absorb photons. So all the photons of visible light get through. And so if you saw a solid crystal, it would just be clear as glass. When CO2 in the air is mixed with water, then it becomes carbonic acid. And if it rains and the acidic water leaches into the ground, then it can slowly start to dissolve away the calcium carbonate in the bedrock and eventually make a cave. Now I'm going to go down into the garage and show you some calcium put in water. I'll also do a comparison between magnesium and calcium when put into water. So hopefully you, mu you can see a little bit of a reaction when I put the magnesium powder in the water. Maybe you'll be able to see on camera little, little bubbles of hydrogen gas coming up. We'll stir it up a little. Have it fall to the bottom because it is much heavier than water. Or not much, but it is heavier than water. And now if you look very carefully, it's even, it's very, very hard even in real life to see it. So you for sure can't see it on camera. But you're just going to have to trust me that there are tiny little bubbles of hydrogen gas coming off of here. And, oh, that one just floated up because of the hydrogen. And as you go further down, it gets more and more pronounced. So calcium is going to be even more. And by barium, you're going to really be able to see it on camera. Okay, so just saw magnesium powder put into water, and you couldn't see a single thing happen. Well, calcium has a bigger atomic radius, so it can lose electrons more easily, and thus it is more reactive. So hopefully it will start displacing the hydrogen in this water more quickly than magnesium, and making calcium hydroxide and you'll actually be able to see some bubbles of hydrogen gas forming. You see that the calcium sinks at the beginning because it is much heavier than water, but it immediately floats again simply because of the air bubbles, or the hydrogen bubbles. So it, it is actually heavier than water. So you can see the pieces skating around. You can see little bubbles forming.